Alright, so today I'm going to make a video about the uh, the release of the console version of Diablo 3, which came out earlier today. Um, actually came out last night at midnight in some areas. Um, anyway, the, the console version of Diablo 3 came out, and uh, I've been watching a couple of people stream it, I've been watching some videos, and uh, I'll just give my first impressions, as well as um, some very, very big problems that have already, um, that have already uh, come up. So the gameplay uh, overall looks really similar to the PC version. Um, you know, uh, monsters look the same. You know, the combat looks the same. Um, the graphics look very similar. Um, a little tiny bit different, but but pretty similar um, to the PC version. Uh, the big differences, though, are because it is in the console. Um, the gameplay is it's a bit different to actually play. You have to get used to playing on a controller, so. The actual fluidity of the game is a little bit different than playing on the PC version. I think that it, it looks a little bit more slow-paced because um, you don't really have the reflexes that you do when you're playing on the keyboard and mouse. So uh, it looks like the game's a little bit slower pace, and um, you know we'll see how that is uh, when the when the uh, when people get to the end game content and when they start getting really really good gear. We'll see if that kind of that kind of uh, sticks through because so far you know there's not really too many people who are level 60 yet. So. Um, anyway, um, there have been some uh, some issues with the console version. Um, I'll explain. I'll talk about one of the really really big ones so far. I can't actually explain it in detail because I don't want the video to get shut down and I don't want the um, I don't want to get in trouble or anything. But there is an enormous uh, there's an enormous gold dupe going on. There's an enormous gold dupe and item dupe going on in the console version, and uh, it's still unknown whether it's intentional or not. Um, I can't actually explain it in this video because I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get the video removed or anything like that. However, I'm sure if you guys do some research, I'm sure if you just type in in YouTube, um, if you type in Diablo 3 console, um, Diablo 3 console dupe or something like that, I'm sure you'll find it. It's you know there's a couple of videos already up there, and of course it's you know on on you know it's on uh, D2JSP and all that stuff. So um, if you do a little bit of research, you could find out how to do it. I can't I'm not actually going to explain how to do it. However, it's really, really simple, um, and all it does is it involves trading, um, and that's it. And you can essentially just trade items to one person, and then they get your items, and you still keep your items. So it's just it's, it's just a flat-out dupe. You can dupe items, and you can dupe gold. Um, so I don't know if it's uh, it's still unknown whether it's intentional because it's just so simple. It's kind of like a slap to the face. It's like, well, it was, I mean, if if it's this easy, I mean, did they want you to dupe items? I mean, nobody's really quite sure yet if it's an intended feature of the game, uh, whether they want people to, to pass on the best items in the game so that everybody gets the best gear and all that stuff, or whether it was just like a really sloppy, you know, really sloppy mistake. Either way, it's going to have a big impact on the uh, the, eight, the the late game of, uh, of Diablo, and I'm a little bit disappointed about that. I'll talk about it um, in the stream today as well. But uh, I think that the ability to pass on the best items kind of removes the entire, um, the entire motivation to play the game. I mean, sure, you could get to Paragon level 100. Sure, you could do all that. But, I mean, what's the point if you're not going to get any great loot or if you could just get the best loot for free because everybody's going around duping it? So I think that's kind of disappointing. Um, I don't think too many of the big streamers know about it yet. That's kind of awkward. The phone's ringing in the middle of the video, but that's okay. We'll keep going because that's what we do. Um, but uh, you know, I think that once a couple of the, I think once a uh, couple of the uh, big big streamers find out about it, I think they will. Uh, I think they will. Uh, they will stop. Um, they will stop uh, playing the console version. That is really annoying. I wish I had a way to edit this out, but I don't, so it's going live. Anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I don't want to make this video too long. Maybe I'll explain some more, some more stuff about the uh, about the console version in another video. But thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed the video, definitely make sure to uh, to subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, and of course, make sure to check out the Twitch channel live pretty much every day for around six to seven hours a day, if not even longer. Uh, twitchtv gaming and of course my Twitter, twittercom gaming Thanks again, everybody. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Hopefully, you learned something new. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.